Okay, this video is Bodybuilder Kidney Failure, also called Gym Nephropathy. This paper here is from Consumer Reports 2018. There have been several papers on this in Consumer Reports that popular protein supplements, it was pretty common, routine, that they would contain lead or arsenic. And so it's common that powdered foods will have somebody contaminate them with heavy metals because it makes the powder way more and you can sell it for more money. That's why I will never eat any powder food. Um, you could also wonder, you know, if these protein supplements are made in another country that doesn't like the USA, maybe they put these heavy metals in there because they don't want our young men to be fit and strong. Okay, either way, protein supplements are stupid. They're a bad idea. Um, and, you know, the main thing is lift heavy weights. You shouldn't be taking these protein supplements. Okay, here's the paper about bodybuilding and impact on kidney function. Lots of bodybuilders are taking all kinds of supplements. They're taking creatine. They're taking... Um, you know, quite often multiple vitamins, protein powders, anabolic steroids, and these things are all one way or another potentially associated with kidney failure. Um, and it can be pretty bad kidney failure, focal segmental, glomerulosclerosis, nephrocalcinosis, kidney stones. Um, I'll show you a nice picture. And some of them are also taking other medications and messing around with diuretics and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. This is a nice picture from that same paper here. Let me get myself out of the way talking about how these different um, bodybuilder supplements are potentially associated with decreased kidney function. And I occasionally see patients, I'll see young men who have put themselves into kidney failure, uh, most commonly from protein powders, but also I've seen it happen from creatine. And you know, I don't know how often it's happening from anabolic steroids, they don't necessarily tell me. Um, here's just showing you know, excessive protein, animal protein typically, like whey protein for example. You get hyperfiltration, renal decline. Uh, creatine, even though they claim it's safe, when you start reading the books on the mechanisms of uh, metabolism of it, there's good reason to believe it's not safe. I would never take it. Any commercially uh, profitable food always gets a lot of fake publicity to say it's safe and good. I one time considered taking it myself and I bought like this long book summarizing all the papers on it and there was they would say it's fine in the conclusion and in the abstract, but when you read the middle of the paper, they would suggest there were a lot of reasons to think it's dangerous to the kidneys and potentially increases the risk of cancer. Anabolic steroids can be associated with acute kidney insufficiency, um, with focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. You know, these are major uh, problems for your kidneys. Excessive intake of vitamins can disrupt calcium metabolism, be associated with nephrocalcinosis, potentially kidney stones. Some people taking uh, NSAIDs or diuretics, sometimes they end up getting on multiple medicines. You'll see polypharmacy is not uncommon in bodybuilders. You know, you take one pill, you get a side effect, you end up on another pill. And I've seen some quite unhealthy young guys who start doing all this stuff. I would say just lift heavy and uh, eat whole foods. I wouldn't be uh, messing around with all these supplements. Human body's not made for that. Here's another paper called Gym Nephropathy, Bodybuilding versus Kidney Damaging. And it just goes through more of the details of how, you know, anabolic androgenic steroids can cause kidney failure for multiple reasons. By the way, that last paper had a whole list of all these case reports of people putting themselves into kidney failure from taking bodybuilder supplements. Um, so this is a good thing to warn uh, young guys about. A lot of guys have a problem with this. Energy drink induced renal failure. Um, all this stuff, it's not good for health. And this is just some more details about the different things like anabolic androgenic steroids being associated with focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, global sclerosis, renal artery thrombosis, increased risk, creatine monohydrate. They always say generally safe, but cases of kidney failure have been reported. What I found was helpful is I went into bodybuilder forums where guys would talk about problems they had and they would say things like, oh yeah, this stuff put me on in kidney failure. I'm on dialysis now. You know, so bodybuilders are not really healthy people. You know, these professional bodybuilders, they on average tend to die relatively young, have a lot of heart problems and other problems. Uh, vitamins, like I said, hypercalcemia, nephrocalcinosis, calcifications in the kidney, kidney stones, as well as worse problems, interstitial fibrosis. Um, the big problem with protein, the excessive protein supplements is heavy metal toxicity. They don't mention much about that. Energy drinks, some cases of acute kidney insufficiency have been reported. I, I know a guy who had a heart attack in his 30s from drinking those energy drinks. So anyways, I'm just giving you a heads up because a lot of parents are kind of oblivious that their kid is uh, taking a lot of these things. And uh, it's good to know these things are not good for people's health.